Welcome to Fly Over the Map. Today, we find ourselves in Germany. Thank you so much for watching each video. If you have any suggestions, feedback, or ideas, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. The today's landmark we find in Potsdam. We are flying over the Schloss Sanssouci, also known as Sanssouci Palace today. Let's enjoy the view. Sanssouci Palace, known as Schloss Sanssouci, is a stunning landmark in Potsdam, Germany. Built between 1745 and 1747 as a summer residence for Frederick the Great, King of Prussia, it is often dubbed the Prussian Versailles. The name Sanssouci, which means without concerns in French, reflects Frederick's desire for a retreat from the stresses of royal duties. This elegant Rococo palace stands out with its single-story design, central domed hall, and ornate facade adorned with classical columns and intricate carvings. The interior of Sanssouci Palace is just as impressive, featuring rooms with opulent frescoes, gilded moldings, and exquisite furniture. Highlights include the marble hall, which served as a grand reception space, and the Voltaire room, named after the renowned French philosopher who was a guest at the palace. The room is famous for its intricate wood carvings and rich color palette, embodying the Enlightenment ideals Frederick the Great valued. Surrounding the palace is Sanssouci Park, an expansive and beautifully landscaped area covering over 290 hectares. The park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, includes terraced vineyards, formal gardens, fountains, and numerous statues. The Great Fountain, centrally located in the park, is particularly notable for its grandeur and is surrounded by meticulously manicured lawns and vibrant flower beds. Within the park, several other significant structures enhance its appeal. The new palace, Nui's Palais, built between 1763 and 1769, showcases grand Baroque architecture and served as a residence for royal guests. The Chinese house, Chinese's house, is a charming Rococo pavilion that reflects 18th century European fascination with Chinese culture. Another highlight is the Roman baths, Romish Bader, designed to emulate ancient Roman architecture and providing a tranquil retreat within the park. Sanssouci Palace played a pivotal role in 18th century Prussia as a center of intellectual exchange. Frederick the Great hosted leading thinkers of the time, including Voltaire, contributing to the cultural and political landscape of Prussia. Throughout the 19th and 20th centuries, the palace remained a symbol of Prussian and later German heritage, surviving both world wars relatively unscathed. Today, it is one of Germany's most visited tourist attractions, offering a glimpse into the country's rich history and culture. We look forward to welcoming you on board again next time for Fly Over the Map. If you enjoyed the video, please leave us a like or comment. 